What's up, everybody? 3P Music here. Thanks for tuning in to the series of, of Planet Coaster, basically. I think I called it Roller Coaster, which I do on accident just a few minutes ago. At any rate, <laughs> Planet Coaster, uh, not Roller Coaster Tycoon World, even though this should have been. Uh, but anyways, more on that later. We are talking about the basics of Planet Coaster, and if you're just joining us from before, we were learning about the controls of the camera, and now we're going to focus around some of the basic building uh, to get going and get started right in the game. So right off the bat, you're noticing a couple things here. You're noticing that we've got a path that goes from a larger path into a smaller path, and then into this thing with these weird little tiles. And if you're not sure what those tiles are, those are actually players that were um, part of Foundation uh, players, and they paid a pretty penny uh, to have their, their information here in the game. Um, but as you can see, they're in every game, and you, can, um, you can't get those now, but they, are, they were part of the, uh, the initial uh, funding or initial alpha early access thing that you could participate in and, and get some really cool additional features. I didn't have that kind of money to put in the game at the time, so I did not get uh, one of those cool foundation stones, but I would love to buy one in the future if they were to open that possibility up. So, first things first, let's start with placing paths, and, and there's been uh, other videos that have been made about this, and other um, commentary about, you know, the, the path system is kind of wonky, it doesn't really work too well. I disagree. I think the path system is really easy to use and it's very functional uh, and it works very well. Um, can it be a little finicky? Yes. Primarily though, when you're working with um, different levels of um, elevation. So if you're trying to build up a lot of uh, vertical spaces and, and you're not working on more of a flat land, um, it's going to be a little bit more temperamental to work with. Not impossible, but it is a little bit more of a challenge and we'll cover that as well in a later tutorial. But for now, we're going to cover the basics of the path system and the path tool and the really cool things that you can do with the path tool system. So looking at paths, we've got a whole bunch of different things down here. First of all, we've got a delete path option. So, um, so we can then delete if we want to just remove all this um, by having that active. Um, if not, we're, gonna, we're in like a placement. And as you can see, it's going to replace the texture that's already there. If we wanted to change that texture up, we can. Um, and what the most important thing you're going to see over here are these two tabs. Um, and these two tabs on the left and right side are going to give you the options to really get a little bit more granular with how you can place paths and what you can do with them. Um, the other things you can look at is your sorting option and how you can look at your different options. I'm actually keeping this on a small grid for this tutorial, so we have all of them visible here and it's not, I don't have to scroll through you know, these options there. But if you want the bigger icons, you can absolutely have those on. Um, you've got different style of paths. So you've got your main paths. These are all the different main path walkway textures that you can use. Uh, you've got your natural, which we'll cover. And then of course you've got your line cues um, for when you're building your rides and you've got to have people queue. Uh, we're gonna start out though with the same texture that's in here. We're not gonna change it up too much. We're gonna do the exact same texture. And as you can see, it automatically kind of locked on to, to that point, which we, we can build from there if we want, or we can start building wherever we want on the map here. Typically though, as you're just starting out, I highly encourage you just to just learn how the game wants you to play right off the bat. And the way you can do that very easily is just left click and place your mouse down. Now, what you're gonna find, and this is where I think people get kind of upset, I don't wanna say upset, people get nervous about the path system because they're like, oh my gosh, like this path system's terrible. I wanna be able to just put it wherever I want and it draw a line and it goes there and it's, and it's easy to use and this is wonky and it's not gonna be a straight line. Slow down. So what we can do is something very easily, which is called angle snapping. And I use this on every build that I do. Uh, and you can activate it a couple different ways. I use the shortcut, which is just a space bar. Um, so as you can see down here, angle snap was activated. And I have mine set to a 15 degree uh, mark, which you can then edit this if you want and change it to whatever degree you want. If you want more precision, if you need it to be um, you know, 45 degree angles, or if you want it to be 30 degree, whatever you want. I tend to keep mine around 15 and I'll show you why. So starting there, so now if we put our piece down here, you're gonna see though that the snapping now snaps in 15 degree increments. So I can, if I wanted to, place this down in 15 degree increments and have more control over the, sim the symmetry of my paths and the, um, the alignment of my paths. Then if I wanted to say, for example, I don't really want it to be that controlled or that precise, I can adjust that to 45 degree angle and that's going to give me a much um, you know, 
much fewer options in terms of my angle than where I can place the pass. I've got like what, four or five there, two, three, four, five, I think. And then um, again, 90 degrees, one, two, three. I can go front, I can go to the left, I can go to the right. Those are my, those are my options. Um, and, or I can go to zero or turn angle snap off spacebar and have complete freedom, complete control to put them wherever I want in whatever direction I want um, and have that precision. Sometimes you need that precision to get around certain scenery ob items and, and certain um, you know objects that you've placed in the park. Um, but uh, for now, we're gonna leave angle snap on again for the purpose of this tutorial, which is to learn the basics. So angle snap on. The next option down here is your length. So obviously length sounds like it is what exactly it is, which is the length of your path. So you can adjust that. And again, keeping angle snap on will give you the option to build a lengthier path um, and all the way up to, I believe it's a five. Um, so all the way down here. So if you're looking to just build a huge midway left mouse button clicks to place. And again, I'm just using my WASD keys to position my camera. So there we go. So now we've got a huge straight line all the way to the back of the park. Well, middle of the park, not the back. Back of the park's all back here so yeah so front of the park is a huge straight line which is great so one other thing that you're gonna notice though is once I've placed that now this end is kind of kind of weird it's like oh well how do I get it to go to go this way or how do I get it to go that way without this huge you know circle so there's a few different ways to tackle that the way that I typically do it is I will set my length back to one I'll place the path down one more spot here or I'll delete one more and then place it down again and then as you can see just by moving your mouse to the left or to the right, again with the angle snap on at 15 degrees, I can now place a path down exactly how I want it. Now you're saying, oh, but what was that? It was flashing, it was getting crazy, and I, I don't know what that, why it's doing that. It's trying to assist with placing the path and trying to determine where, what it is you're trying to do as the user to put your path down in the direction that you want or in the style that you want. So right now, I know that if I put my left mouse button down, this is going to look like a giant penis and two balls and that it does because I've got these here and the shaft up here so but it is a straight you know it is a straight uh, straight line across now um, if I want to have that nice symmetrical um, line I can so one of the other cool things that you can do within here is you can adjust the width of your path um, so you can go all the way up to 33 foot which that's such a weird number but 33 it is um, 13 as small as you can go, which this is a 13 foot path, or you can go as high as 33, and then you can place this down um, really wherever you want to place it down. But you're saying probably right now, well, but Casey, it's it's not letting you place it down in the middle. Don't worry, it will if we do a little trick. And the trick is to take snapping off. Oops, and let me, let me just make a liar on myself here real quick. Hang on, snapping back on. And there we go. I think maybe the camera was in the way. Uh, no. Okay, so that is one of the little qualms about the game that you'll find is in the path system is it's a little wonky sometimes, but there are ways around it, other ways around it. So obviously that didn't work. A couple different things that we can do is we can make the path smaller to start out. So we'll put a, put a junction point in there, increase the width, and we're gonna, whoop, we're gonna build that straight. So we're gonna increase the width, and we're gonna build that straight. Increase. There we go. So okay. So as you can see now, I can make that path go into a much larger area if I wanted to. Um, it is. Um, it looks like it's a little off-centered, uh, which is probably my fault for where I placed that down. Um, oh, and you're probably saying, well, how did you just delete that? Your best friend in this game is going to be the undo feature and you can do the undo feature by holding down control and pressing Z and that is going to undo and I, I don't know how many levels of undo there are but it goes back very very far I mean I've pretty much built an entire roller coaster and used the undo feature to remove and or delete the entire roller coaster that I sucked at building so um, just just know that you'll be using control Z a lot um, if you don't want to use a shortcut on the keyboard, it's okay. You don't have to. You can use the option down here, uh, which is the back arrow, or you can do a redo option as well, Control Z or Control Y. And if you're a Photoshop fan, you'll know that Control Z is also um, a shortcut within that program as well. So they, a lot of the same shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts, are in this game that there are in uh, Photoshop, which is really kind of cool, actually. 
Because it's, a, I mean, there's a lot of design elements within this game, so it makes sense to have something that's familiar and similar and uses this, you know, uh, sort of similar layout to, to an existing program. Okay, so back to placing this, uh, this path in the middle of how we want it. You say, well, how do we get it to be lined up in the middle? Or how do I get this to build like a, a huge, um, uh, like a huge walkway? I, don't, I, I want it even bigger than 33 feet. What can I do to, to make it bigger than that? So what you can do is you can do select grid. And what select grid is going to do is it's going to allow you to select on the uh, on the screen. Oops, select grid. We got to find the grid. Where's the grid at? Why is it not working? It's making a liar out of me. Uh, angle snaps on. Oh, I think I know why. Because I had placed that down. So now if we do select grid. Oh. Mm hmm. All right. Just kidding. Just kidding. Let's try this real quick. Let's go, whoops, go back to path. Select grid. There we go. Okay, so a little bit of a glitch there, but we found it. So, um, and how I got out of it is, I, and I think it was because I had already selected my path tool, um, which uh, if I take grid selecting off and I've got my path tool down and I do select grid again, oh, that worked that time. Okay, typically that's how it works in the game, but again, it can be a little wonky sometimes, not all the time. But you're saying, okay, so if I click here, but, I, I, but then it won't let me build a path here, or I can click over here, but it's not letting me build a path over here. It will. This is just asking for the grid that you want to use to start building your, your larger path. So in this particular case, we're actually going to go all the way back to the start of our park. And I want to have this kind of come into a, uh, a larger area. We'll have, we'll, we're going to do something cool with the entrance area here later. But for now, we're going to do something pretty cool with... Um, with creating this more of a, a midway uh, style pathing system. So by left clicking to place your initial starting point of your path, now you have the option to make some really cool features that can then be, you know, you can add a fountain in the middle here, or you can add you know, or another path, or you can close this whole thing, or make it even longer or bigger if you wanted to. One of the other cool things is you can enable square edges. So what square edges is going to do is it's exactly what it sounds like. Is it's just going to give these a nice square finish. Um, so again, if you're looking for more of a design aesthetic, you can uh, have these look similar uh, in style to keep them all the same. So do two of the rounded and then two of these like bell shape. And then maybe we just do, uh, we change it up here and we do three down. Um, of all squares, so it's complete square. Um, and then maybe down here we just do like four there, and then let's go ahead and put a rounded one in the middle, and that's going to round that over. So again, so it gives us some variation, some options for building out our midway and to have uh, have it look a certain way or, or to be more symmetrical. Um, there's not a whole lot of grid-based building within this game. Uh, the pathing system does allow it um, with the selecting grid as well as your building construction because it's very difficult to not use a grid when you're trying to put together structures, which we'll cover at a later date. Um, but that is the basic how to put a path down and how to um, you know how to make it look a certain way. Um, some of the other things that you can do within here, and we'll cover those briefly, um, is under your advanced settings. So again, we're getting into more advanced stuff, but this is cool stuff, and I think you you will definitely find some, some interesting things in here. So as you can see, a lot of stuff in here is checked already. Path supports, which means it's going to show you, if you do an elevated path, it's going to show you the uh, support underneath it. You can choose not to have it and build your own. If you don't want to use the default ones that are in the game, just disable this and it'll just be a floating sidewalk, and then you can build your own path or your own walls or however you want it to look um, using the building materials within the game. Uh, curved slope. So again, if you want to have a, a big sweeping grand staircase that comes down and, and bends around and looks like a snake um, using a curved slope, that will allow you to do that. Uh, and then of course you're railing on ground cues um, and then railing on elevated. But the really cool thing is you can also put railing on the ground path. So if we want to have a railing um, on say just the square part, we can just go in and click over the part that we've already placed and maybe put the ends there on, the, on those sides. So it, it feels like it belongs there and it's just gonna just gonna cap them off on the edge um, so there so we've got our first our, our first little uh, squared off fenced off area and it's a good way to build 
paths with fences. Um, and each one of these path styles has a different style of uh, a fence. So as you can see, this one here has got these like little metal wooden posts with hooks, which seem very dangerous. So I don't know, I feel like a kid would poke his eye out on that or fall on it and get impaled and die and you'd have a huge lawsuit. Um, and then of course you've got this one here, which is more of your um, metal, uh, metal bar with the wooden uh, handrail, a um, little bit more modern. Um, and then of course you've got your like really fancy, fancy pantsy uh, style here with this metal texture thing. So it's kind of a sci-fi thing. Um, so yeah, so each one's got a different, uh, a different option. You know, you can do the, the curved fences if you want as well around the curved paths. Um, that works just like it's supposed to. Um, and you, you just left click to place them down and there you go. So now we can um, then uh, cover this in. Oops, go ahead and control Z that and we can place down, there we go, our fence in between. And you just really have to practice with placing down your um, your path tools. 